Let's paint a bird of paradise flower. It's also known as a strelitzia and I'll be painting mine using acrylics. I'm going to paint the background first. So I use contact adhesive to mask off the flower itself. So contact adhesive is basically a roll of transparent sticker which I stick onto the canvas and cut out the shape I want using a craft knife. Just be careful when doing that so that you don't cut all the way through the canvas. This mask allows me to quickly paint the background without having to carefully avoid the edges of the flower itself. Because we want the flower to be bright vibrant colors I'll use dark browns and greens in the background. Leave the background to dry then remove your mask. Let's start at the top of the flower and work our way down. Add a light yellow to the brightest areas of the orange petals and then gradually add more and more orange to the mixture as you lay down the darker colors. I'm not really blending these colors into each other because the stripiness of the different colors makes the petals look transparent. I've also masked off the blue petal using the clear cover to keep that area nice and clean. Use a fine brush to ensure the tip of each petal is nice and sharp. Moving on to the body of the flower, here we have heaps of different colors merging with each other. This makes it really easy to turn the whole area into a big muddy mess as these colors mixed into each other. So the secret to ensure that this doesn't happen to you is to blend one adjacent color into the next at a time. Stop, wash your brush, lay down the next color, mix it into the color next to it, wash your brush and so on. And that way you keep your brush always nice and clean and that is going to give you nice clean crisp mixes. So in this area I've used pink, brown, dark green, yellow and even a touch of orange and blended them into each other. When doing the body of the flower, just take your time and be careful and it will turn out nice. So here at the stem we've got a, just a tip of a leaf peeping in. So use your sap green just to suggest that leaf over there. And that just adds a little bit of extra interest and realism to the painting. Okay, so here where the petals meet the body of the flower, we get a bit of a transparent effect. So I'll use white and some of the petal colors to get that effect. And finally we can paint these two pretty blue petals. I'm using French ultramarine with more or less amounts of white in it in order to show the different shades. So just pop in the different tonal values where you see them. For the tip I've used orange with a touch of blue in it to get that brown effect and a little bit of white to lighten it up. Lastly, we'll finish off the bird of paradise flower by leaving it to dry, then adding a light glaze of white over the underside of the body to give it that lovely smooth and shiny look. So that really was a fun painting to do. If you enjoyed it just as much as I did, please like the video and of course subscribe for more.